Olu Watoyan was a 19 year old Florida teenager or young lady, I guess I can say, who was um, killed. It looks like she went missing on June the 6th and her body was found on June the 13th in Tallahassee, Florida. She went missing and um, she was killed by a man by the name of Aaron Glee Jr. It was a black guy. Toyin was a Black Lives Matter activist. She was pro-black, pro-black man, pro-black woman, pro-trans, everything. Like she was a supportive of the whole movement. And um, she was killed. She voiced her opinion. She did some interviews um, with how she felt about blacks being killed. And next thing you know, she was missing and now she's dead. Thank goodness she was not killed by a um, WM, but she was still murdered. And she was found murdered along with a um, WW. And she was older. The young lady who was murdered with her, her name was Victoria Sims. Victoria Sims. And they, their body was um, found together in the same home on the street that Glee was raised up on. Um, Miss Sims was 75 years old. She was uh, she worked for AARP. She was a volunteer for them, and uh, she was a grandmother. She had kids, grandkids, everything, and uh, she was killed. They haven't said why either of them were murdered, but the point is that they both were murdered. As of today, June the 15th, Mr. Glee has been arrested. Um, unfortunately, he did take the lives of two individuals. He does have a pass of abuse. He's been arrested twice, and that's all of this is public records as well. Um, he does have a arrest history. One of the most recent arrests, I believe it was from May of this year, he was arrested for abusing another female in which um, they are supposedly known as drinking buddies or had been out drinking or something like that. He made a gesture at her um, in reference to breaking him off a piece and they, the police report insinuated that that was a sexual gesture. She denied, he got upset, there was a scuffle, he pushed her, she went towards the ground and he um, kicked her multiple times in the stomach. And he was arrested for that and was released. And now this is what he's done to two more women. Um, Toyin, or Toyin, excuse me if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. She tweeted that she had been molested um, the day that she went missing. And um, whoever the molester was, they... Um, introduced themselves as being a spiritual man and um you know she kind of leaned in you know and, and took heed to that person because she thought they were a man of god and come to find out it was not she was also supposedly living on her own on on her own excuse me because she had been put out of her home um and according to her tweets her brother was abusive to her in some kind of way and since um you know, whatever took place in their home that, that transpired or resulted in her being put out. Uh, she was living on her own and her brother, you know, said that he loved her and nothing could replace his sister and all of this stuff. Right after her murder, of course, it was confirmed by the police and her family on today, June 15th, that it was her body that was found on Saturday. Um, her family set up a GoFundMe and as of a couple of hours ago, that GoFundMe had profited over $10,000 to the family that put her out. So she's not gonna benefit from that, nor was she benefiting from the love of her family. Uh, you know, she was a strong woman, according to her friend. She was outgoing. She was like a light in a dark room, according to uh, what one of her friends said. And unfortunately, she is dead. Um, I'm waiting to see how this story unfolds. And um, as I get more information, I'll try to post the updates on my community tab, but she she has unfortunately transitioned, and um, we're sad to say that, as well as Miss Sam, who also was found dead 
both by the hands of Mr. Glee. If you all have any more information or comments, please place them below so that we can share her story. She was a black young lady. Miss Sims was not, but she was in support of Democrats. So she was um, nice from what I could see. And um, I just wish this senseless violence and killings could stop. But, you know, we're not in control of everything. But post your comments below. Let us know what you think, the information that you have. How do you feel? You know, what are some things that you've heard in your community that you are opposed of? And what are some things that you feel you can do to try to change that? It doesn't have to be joining a protest or a riot, but you know, what are some things that you feel like you can do? Has your friends or anything organized any type of organizations, making t-shirts, putting out flyers, you know, just going around spreading the word? What are you all doing to help? Share below. Bye guys.